Ever wondered how your favorite olive oil is made? Well, each bottle of olive oil begins its journey in an olive grove. Olive trees, these magnificent plants with the ability to endure for centuries, are the very heart of olive oil production. They're cultivated with great care and attention, from the Mediterranean coasts to the Californian valleys. There are hundreds of olive tree varieties each with its unique characteristics, contributing to the diversity of flavors and aromas we find in olive oil. Just imagine, some of these trees have been around for hundreds of years, absorbing the sunshine, the rain, and the soil's nutrients. All of these elements seeping into the olives and lending their distinct qualities to the oil. This enduring vitality, this deep-rooted connection to the land, it's what gives olive oil its unparalleled quality. So it all starts with the humble olive tree, but the journey is far from over. Once the olives have ripened, it's time for the harvest. This is a crucial moment in the olive oil journey. Harvesting is much more than just picking olives off a tree. It's a delicate dance between tradition and technology, and timing is everything. Traditionally, olives are hand-picked, a labor-intensive process that requires meticulous care. The pickers gently coax the olives from the trees, ensuring that the fruit is not damaged. This method, although time-consuming, is still favored in some regions for its precision and gentleness. However, as the demand for olive oil has surged, larger operations have turned to modern machinery to expedite the process. These machines shake the trees, causing the ripe olives to fall onto nets strategically placed below. It's a fascinating spectacle of man and machine working in harmony. Regardless of the method used, the timing of the harvest is critical. The olives must be at their peak of ripeness. Too early, and the olives will not yield as much oil. It's a delicate balance that requires careful monitoring and experience. The harvested olives are then quickly transported to the mill. You see, olives are like time bombs. The moment they're plucked from the trees, the clock starts ticking. They must be processed as soon as possible to prevent oxidation and ensure the highest quality oil. After the harvest, the race against time begins. The olives must be processed as soon as possible to ensure the highest quality oil. Fresh from the grove, the olives now move on to the mill. Here, our journey continues with the transformation of these humble fruits into a thick, fragrant paste. But how do we get there? It all starts with a thorough cleaning process. First, the olives are meticulously cleaned to remove any unwanted elements. The aim is to ensure that only the purest of olives make it to the next stage. Leaves, twigs, and any other bits of debris are carefully removed. It's a process that requires precision and attention to detail. After all, we're dealing with a product that's going to end up in our kitchens, and ultimately, our meals. Once cleaned, the olives are ready for the next phase, crushing. This is when the olives start to reveal their true potential. They're ground into a paste, a process that was traditionally done by a large stone mill. This stone mill, while not as common today, symbolizes the deep roots and rich history of olive oil production. Nowadays, the crushing is usually done by modern stainless steel equipment. This equipment, while more efficient, still adheres to the age-old principle of gentle crushing. This is to ensure that the olives release their oil without overheating, which can affect the quality of the final product. The result is a thick, fragrant paste, but we're not at olive oil just yet. The journey continues as we move on to the next exciting phase, extracting the oil. Now comes the moment of truth, extracting the oil from the paste. This process is a two-step dance beginning with malaxation and ending with centrifugation. Let's start with malaxation, shall we? Malaxation is a fancy term for a simple process. Picture this, the olive paste, thick and pulpy, is slowly churned. This slow churning is no lazy swirl. It's a critical step that helps the small oil droplets within the paste to merge into larger ones. You can think of it as a gentle nudge, encouraging the oil to come together, preparing it for the next step. And what comes next? Centrifugation. If malaxation was a slow dance, centrifugation is a whirlwind waltz. Here, the paste is spun at high speed. This spinning isn't just for show, it's the force that separates the oil from the water and solids. Imagine the oil droplets, now larger and more cooperative, being flung out, leaving behind the water and solid particles. It's like a roller coaster ride, where the oil is our thrill seeking passenger, and the solids and water are left behind. Finally, we have our olive oil. But don't start reaching for your crusty bread just yet. There's one more step before this liquid gold is ready to make its way to your kitchen. Before it reaches your kitchen, the olive oil undergoes rigorous quality control. This critical step ensures that the oil you enjoy is of the highest quality every time. Imagine a laboratory where olive oil is put under the microscope, so to speak. 
Here, the oil is tested for acidity levels, a key indicator of quality. Extra virgin olive oil, the creme de la creme of olive oils, boasts an acidity level of less than 1%. This low acidity contributes to its superior taste and health benefits. But it's not just about the numbers. Olive oil is also assessed for sensory defects. Professional tasters swirl, sniff, and sip the oil, looking for any off flavors or odors. This sensory analysis differentiates the various grades of olive oil. Virgin olive oil, for instance, has a slightly higher acidity and may have minor defects, while lampant oil, not fit for consumption until it's refined, has significant defects. Once the oil passes these stringent tests, it's time for the final step, bottling. The oil is carefully packaged into bottles, cans, or even bag-and-box packaging. These containers are designed to protect the oil from light and heat, preserving its quality and freshness. And there you have it. From the olive grove to your kitchen, that's the journey your favorite olive oil takes. So next time you drizzle some on your salad or use it for cooking, you'll know the story behind 